What's going on, Cigar Head Crew? We're about to do a little cigar review. So grab your favorite drink and your favorite cigar, and we're about to get lit. Y'all hang on. What's going on, Cigar Head Crew? Had to pour me a glass of this proper 12 Irish whiskey. Some good whiskey. You know what, y'all? Um, I was watching um, Al Robusto. If you guys have not checked out Al Robusto, Mark, Hyacinth, and Uncle Lee Magnon 12, make sure you guys go check them out. If you guys don't know about cigars, they always give a a in-depth review on the cigars that they smoke. It's an awesome, awesome cigar review show. I Robusto. Remember that, I Robusto. Now, I was watching them and they smoked the cigar and um, got they got me really intrigued about the cigar that I'll be, uh, be reviewing today. So, here's the cigar I'll be reviewing by Tim Wong, the Pier 28. All right, now, Cigar Head Crew. Now, the Pier 28, is a cigar line by Tim Wong. Tim Wong, he always dreamed of having his own cigar company. So one day he was able to, to uh, get in touch with Eric Espinosa from 601. And he was able to, they were able to collab on the, on the cigar and here you go, they came up with the Pier 28. Now, the wrapper on this is a uh, Mexican San Andreas wrapper, but the binder and filler are a mystery. You don't know. So um also the size on this cigar is a six and a half by 46 it's a beautiful beautiful looking cigar beautiful looking cigar you can see the little pigtail on there really really nice looking cigar now i can smell the aroma from here on this cigar and it smells very floral and grassy now on the foot on the foot it smells like um to, for me, it smells like a like a floral paint. That may not sound right to y'all, but that's exactly what I'm getting. It, it smells a little bit like paint, man. And you still get that floral note on here. So, all right, we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Shout out to you, brother Brew Geek. Using my V-cut on here. It's a very nice single cap on this cigar as well. Slightly firm draw on this cigar. On the cold draw, get some floral and some, it's like some, uh, like a grassy, like a, like a, like a grassy, grassy note as well. And the sweetness of the tobacco. And that's it. All right, cigar head crew, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Hey Mark, I did Dropbox this by the way. All right, Cigar Head Crew, now from Light Up, get a slight burst of pepper. You still get that floral note. The Retro Hell, you get like some, um, I taste some, like a like um, like a wood and a, a, a um, wood and a cedar spice as well. It's not, it's, it, it's, it's like a, it's like a Floyd Mayweather jab to the nose very very good start to this cigar i'm liking it so far so we're gonna let this bad boy heat on up get it to the first third and if i have anything else i'll be back y'all hang on all right cigar head crew we're back with the pier 28. great smoke output on this cigar 
flavors it's not a it's not too much of a complex cigar flavors are enjoyable it's nothing that just gives you a boom wham pow on the, on the palate the uh retro hell is 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 about a medium plus smooth get a slight bit of pepper you still get that floral note and you still get that woodiness that are in there and also you get some you get some uh some nuttiness um like it's like a smooth creamy nuttiness that you get on this cigar very tasty very very good cigar um i'm enjoying i'm in, i'm enjoying the experience and it really pairs up well with the proper 12 uh irish whiskey um get a slight little pepper sing on the back of the throat very 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 pleasurable right now so i'm gonna let this bad boy smoke on down we're gonna smoke it on down to the final third and i'll let you guys know what else i get all right y'all hang on All right, Cigar Head Crew, we're back with the final third of this Pier 28. Let me go ahead and show you guys the band on this cigar. Get out of my pocket. If you guys can see that band, that's a beautiful band. I don't know if I explained that to you guys earlier, but all right, this is a good cigar. Not a great cigar, but it's a good cigar. Very, uh, uh, very, very good flavor notes on, on this cigar. The flavor notes are pretty much still the same in the final third. Except for the uh, the nuttiness has increased a little bit. It's still smooth and creamy. Um, not a nose burner like that. It, it, it gives you a slight little tingle, little nostril tingle. May wear the jab to the nose. Very pleasant cigar. I enjoyed this cigar. I will buy this cigar again. Wouldn't buy a box, but I will most definitely buy this cigar again and, um, and have it in my humidor. Um, overall enjoyable experience not a cigar head certified cigar but it is a but it is a good cigar well y'all do me a favor y'all give this video a like a comment subscribe to the channel hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops all right y'all i'll see y'all in the next review y'all remember stay lit stay humble and stay smoky all right y'all i'm out peace